Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just uh, found something in my email that came, let's see, at 3.31 p.m. Wow, I'm about to be caught up. Uh, today is Sunday, June the 7th, and it's 9.01 p.m. This is, I just had to share this. This was written by uh, an anonymous African pastor. Now listen to this. Uh, Morella sent this. It says an hour ago. I guess Google keeps up with that, but it but it was more than an hour ago. Uh, maybe she found it an hour ago, and that's what she typed in the subject line. Anyway, she said, "Hi, fam." This is what Mr. Christian just published in his community an hour ago. I signed this to Amen. In 1980, a young man from Rwanda was forced by his tribe to either renounce Christ or face certain death. He refused to renounce Christ, and he was killed on the spot. The night before, he had written the following commitment, which was found in his room. I'm part of the fellowship of the unashamed. I have Holy Spirit power. The die has been cast. I have stepped over the line. The decision has been made. I'm a disciple of his. I won't look back, let up, slow down, back away, or be still. My past is redeemed. My present makes sense. My future is secure. I'm finished with low living, sight walking, small planning, smooth knees, colorless dreams, tamed visions, mundane talking, cheap living, and dwarfed goals. I no longer need preeminence, prosperity, position, promotions, plaudits, or popularity. I don't have to be right, first, tops, recognized, praised, regarded, or rewarded. I now live by faith, lean on his presence, walk by patience, lift by prayer, and labor by power. My face is set. My gate is fast. My goal is heaven. My road is narrow. My way rough. My companions few. My guide reliable. My mission clear. I cannot be bought, compromised, detoured, lured away, turned back, deluded or delayed. I will not flinch. I'm sure that's flinch. Yeah, I will not flinch. In the face of sacrifice, hesitate in the presence of the adversary, negotiate at the table of the enemy, ponder at the pool of popularity, or meander in the maze of popularity. I won't give up, shut up, or let up until I have stayed up, stored up, prayed up,
paid up and preached up for the cause of Christ. I am a disciple of Jesus. I must go till he comes. Give till I drop. Preach till all know and work till he stops me. And when he comes for his own, he will have no problems recognizing me. My banner will be clear. By an anonymous African pastor nailed to his wall the eve of his martyrdom. Now, it makes me wonder exactly who wrote it, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care if some creative writer wrote it, as long as they meant it. Can you say the same? I don't know that I could say it all. I mean... I think I could, but, you know, I'm going to do what I'm doing, no matter how tired I am. I'm going to push to do these things so I can share with you things I think need shared like this. And this is definitely worth sharing, no matter who wrote it. And if the story is exactly as it says, well, how about that? He declared his allegiance to the Lord, and then the Lord took him. Hopefully he didn't feel much. But I'll bet angels were already there. I bet that glowing bright light met him at death's door. I just found this really awesome. And I hope you do too. And I think I will copy it and put it in the description box so you can read it. Perhaps you can copy and paste it to something you can print it out on and read it from time to time and say, now, am I doing this? Okay, this one here I'm falling short on. I need to work on that. You see what I'm saying? I think there's a couple things in there I need to work on. So let us, let us, let this be kind of um, a guideline, maybe. It's like he took the Bible and all we learn and summarized it into a paragraph in a manner of speaking. Anyway, I thought it was beautiful and worth sharing. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and hope that it goes up because I know Satan doesn't want us living like this. Oh no. He wants us to compromise and be ready to give in and give up and not hang in there and do our best. As this man said, Doesn't sound easy, does it? Remember that video? Some of you may remember where I was teaching uh, that the straight and narrow path is not always easy. And that's why Jesus said, Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Not me. <laughs> Jesus will take my yoke and learn of me for my let's see for I am meek and humble and I will give you rest 
for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, when you read something like this, you might think, what do you mean? That doesn't sound very light. But really, when you walk um, with the Lord at your side, everything you go through is so much easier than all the stuff the world is going through right now. And don't have Christ to turn to. You know how worried and scared so many people are that these riots are going to end up coming down their street and damaging their home or their business. I can't imagine. I'm glad I don't have to. I know the Lord has me right where he wants me. <laughs> doing what he said. And I hope that you all can say that as well. Okay, so I will plead the blood of Jesus over this video and myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connection so we can stay connected until we're out of here. And remember, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And please turn off your Wi-Fi's and cell phones when you're not using them. Let's keep those uh, waves of frequency <laughs> as much as possible out of our bodies. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.